What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Happy Friday. I missed you guys last week. And uh, yeah, I am so ready to get back into Big Idea Food Bible Study with you guys for another week. We got another good one to talk about today. Um, super excited. But while we are waiting for Instagram to let everybody know that we are here, let me just tell you if this is your first time watching, um, whether you're watching a recording or watching this live, my name is Marlena Parks. I am the author of Big Idea Food. It is the weekly devotional for entrepreneurs, side hustlers, and dreamers. And it is full of just some amazing devotions that are designed to feed your soul and fuel um, your, just fuel your spirit. You know, our mindset is what produces everything else in our lives, including our businesses, including the dreams that we're producing out here, the whatever purpose work you're doing, um, what is in your mind and in your spirit is um, what is guiding your steps. And so this book is really giving you God's word and making it super easy and digestible to just feed your spirit so that you can go do the things that you um, are called to do and do them in alignment with what God is leading you to do. Um, so really good book. If you don't have it, it is on Amazon. And these Bible studies are based on uh, each week of this book. So there's 52 studies in here, one for every week of the year, and we are on week seven. So if you have not uh, joined us yet, this is your first time joining, don't even trip. You can just tap right on in today. Uh, you can always go back and listen to the previous weeks on the Big Idea Food YouTube channel. You can check it out in the bio, uh, link in my bio. And uh, don't even worry about watching them in order. You can always check them out in any order. Whatever title speaks most to you and your spirit, you can um, go in that direction. So just flow, okay? And uh, it's going to be real good to your soul. So, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Inspired to plan. I love that book. I traveled all over the world with it. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I love hearing that. Thank you for sharing that. That just blessed my soul. Traveled over the world. This little book just been, been all around the world. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's really, really good, y'all. And these Bible studies have been so good. i um, really excited to eventually we will have a an actual study journal. Um, so all of these studies that we're doing live every week will live inside of an actual paper, physical journal that you can use along with your book uh, to study and go deeper into some of the topics and truths that we outline in the book. So if you are a Bible nerd or if you just want to continue to feed your soul, it's coming real, real soon. So stay posted, join my email list because those are the folks who will find out when it's ready first. Um, also, link is available in my bio. Oh my gosh, Luminous Life Project, what's up, boo? <laughs> hey, Leslie Boo, you said I'm glowing, thank you. I do have the filter on though, so the filter is literally called glow, so that's part of the glow. As well as, y'all see all this sunlight? It is kind of like gloomy here today, but the sun, the light is still giving, so we, we love the light, okay? We appreciate. Um, so I am so happy to see y'all. We are going to get right into the study, but first y'all know we're going to pray. So let's go ahead and pray and then we will get right into it. If y'all see me looking over here, that's just me looking down at my notes. So that's what that's about. But let's go ahead and pray. Let's invite God into this study time um, and just trust that he is going to bless us like he always does. So let's pray. Oh, precious Lord, Father, we could come to you right now just taking time to acknowledge that you are here and present with us always because um, you always are. Um, and we just thank you so much for always being here with us. And we just put our mind and our attention on you right now. Lord, you are so good. You're so awesome. Thank you so much for getting us through another week. Uh, whatever we have walked through in this week, Lord, you have been there right by our side, holding our hands through it all. And we just praise you. We thank you for every single prayer answered. We thank you for every single mountain that has been climbed. <laughs> we thank you for every single victory and win in our lives, Lord. You are just so, so good and so worthy to be praised, Father. Um, you're awesome. And the work that you do in us and in our lives is just amazing. Uh, so we just, we just thank you. We praise you. Lord, we also cast all of our cares on you right now in this moment. Whatever cares that have been plaguing our minds, our spirits lately, um, today, in the last 15 minutes, whatever it is, Lord, we just 
remember what your word says um, about casting our cares on you and you will sustain us. So we just take a second to do that right now and trust that you will guide us. We trust that your peace will guard our hearts. And um, we thank you for that too. And right now, I just invite you into this session as always. Lord, please have your way. This is um, my boat for you to teach on. So I am, I move out of the way and I trust that you will um, come in and, and teach us, Lord. We, our eyes are on you. You are where our help comes from. You are, you are our teacher. And uh, we're just looking to you, Lord. So I am opening wide my mouth, trusting that you will fill it. And so I just pray that we all receive um, something from you, whether we're watching this live or watching this recording next week, next year, 10 years from now, I just pray that you would speak rhema uh, to whoever is listening right now in this moment specifically to whatever situations that they have going on um and also just speak whatever needs to be spoken out for this specific study lord you know what you want to be put down on wax <laughs> for this um for this study so i just pray that you would pour that all out right now we give you the space to do it um i thank you that when i acknowledge you in all of my ways you will direct my path so i just consider this live directed and um i thank you so and we love you <laughs> and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, guys. I am so glad you guys are here. What's up? So let's go ahead and dive in. I am feeling good. I just feel God's presence already. I'm excited for this live. Um, today, we are on, like I said, week seven of Big Idea Food. And that is the week titled, God is my CEO. Woo woo. Give me a God is my CEO in the chat if he is your CEO. Um, for your business. Um, he is certainly my CEO, I will definitely say. But this um, this this devotion in the book is, um, it's about an experience that I had. There was a, a time in my life where I was considering doing like this food business thing, um, a business in the food industry. And y'all know, like when you go back and just be like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Because, like, that was nowhere near what I was supposed to be doing, right? But anyway, I was really serious about this this idea, this big idea about a, a business in the food industry that I was going to do. And started getting stressed out about it because there was just so much that I didn't know about the specific industry I was looking into and the product that I was thinking about. But it was just like, this is such a good idea. Um, but anyway, I was feeling lost and just spent some time in the word and actually in Deuteronomy chapter 11 verses 10 through 12 that says the land you're entering to take over is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come. It is the land the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are continually on it from the beginning of the year to its end. Um, and when I read that, it just really ministered to me because this is when he was bringing the children of Israel out of Egypt into the promised land. And he was like, this new land is not like Egypt. I take care of this land. It's my land. I'm just bringing you into it, but it's me. And um, that really encouraged me because I knew and know <laughs> that God was bringing me out of the workforce in that particular season of my life and into a focus on entrepreneurship. And it was just like him telling me, this is my land. I got you. Your business is my business. And um, that was really the encouragement that I got in the devotion. And again, get the book if you want to read the actual message in there. But uh, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into studying this. Um, and I see Manifest Now said, I need to get your book. Yes, go ahead and get you a copy, girl. It's on Amazon. Um, it's so good. It's just so, so good. It's been a blessing to so many entrepreneurs and dreamers everywhere, including myself. So highly, highly recommend. Um, if you recommend the book and you've read it too, let her know that it's good. But um, yeah, we're going to go a little bit deeper into this concept today of God being your CEO of your business and um, what that looks like. And as always, I got a couple points for us. I actually only have two points today. Uh, and so we'll go, we'll walk through the points and hey, daddy, there's my dad. Um, we'll walk through the points and we'll just flow from there. So uh, feel free if you're taking notes to go ahead and get your notebook out <clears throat> or your phone, whatever you do with your notes. And let's talk about it. So the first point that we're going to talk about real quick is um, this thought. I really want us to start with this thought because it's just so, I feel like, foundational to... <laughs> Um, 
stuff that we need to realize and, and when we're when we're walking into a space of business or any unknown space because I want to make sure to like you may be listening to this and you don't see yourself as an entrepreneur but maybe you see yourself as a creative or maybe you are you're doing something you're building something whether it is a business or whether it is an aspect of your life or yourself some dream that you're going after um, and so this all still pertains to you. God is still the CEO of whatever that thing is that you are building. So you can, I will, you'll probably hear me say business a lot, but um, definitely just apply that to whatever it is you're building because this does apply to all the stuff we got going on, okay? Um, so, but this first point that I wanna share is um, God knows more about my industry than my industry's top leaders. <clears throat> and I'll say that again. God knows more about my industry than my industry's top leaders. So what, what that's saying, right? Uh, whatever industry you're in, this, this devotion was about a food industry business idea. You may be in the beauty industry or you may be in the life and personal development industry or the sports industry. Like whatever your industry is, uh, this point is all about the fact that God knows more about your industry than your industry's top leaders. So whatever, whatever industry you're in has some top leaders, right? Um, I mean, you can just say if you're in the general business realm, right? Some of our top leaders are what your Elon Musk's, your Mark Zuckerberg's, you know, all those people are the, the top people in just like this realm of business and online <laughs> commerce and things like that, right? Um, and so this point is all about like, if you can think of the highest person, the highest, the biggest, highest expert in your industry and in your field that you're in and all the knowledge that they know and, you know, if you could just sit down and have a conversation with them, you know, they'd be talking about, would you take, what's the thing that was going around with Jay-Z? Like, would you take $500,000 or a dinner with Jay-Z, right? <laughs> Uh, what would you pick? You can put it down in the chat too if you if you have a preference. But um, you know that's the concept, right? If you could talk to your industry's top person about your plans for your business, just to get some mentorship, just to get some strategy, like that could truly be a game changer for you in whatever it is you're building, right? Um, there's so much power in mentorship and learning from the people who do it uh, and do it well. And um, so there's, that's just like, when you think about that, that would be such an amazing opportunity to get the chance to sit down with someone who is at the top of their game in your industry, whatever business you're building. And so this point is saying, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and God is, he is even more of an expert than that person that is on your mind. So if you're thinking about somebody right now, God is even more of an expert than that person and you have direct access to him right now um so let's talk about that like just the fact that god is an expert at whatever it is you do you might consider yourself an expert right you might be the top expert in your industry okay like because <laughs> you are and you're amazing so um but even you right god is even more of an expert and i just think that is so like when i think about that i don't think we apply God's, um, what's, what's the all-knowing word? Omniscience, his omniscience. <laughs> um, we don't often apply his omniscience to like real practical stuff in our lives. And so in this case, right, um, God is all-knowing and that also applies to whatever it is you do in your business. He is literally all-knowing about that. Like whatever you could possibly need to learn, <laughs> whatever strategy you could possibly need to employ to grow or scale what you are doing, God is an expert as that, at that, and not just an expert, but he is the expert. <laughs> he made the thing, right? He made it. He made all this. So whatever it is that you could think that you need, um, he got, he got the knowledge for you. Um, he got it. And he's the one who has the most knowledge about it, the best knowledge about it, the best way to go about it. Like... It's him. And that's just so dope when I think about that. Like, when we call God our CEO, we have to realize, like, his skill set is deep. <laughs> it goes deep, right? 
Um, I mean, he's more than a CEO. He's every single role that you could possibly need in the thing you're building from marketing, creative to financial strategy and accounting to, you know, PR and like, it don't matter what it is that you need to know. He's an expert at it. And so let's get into the scripture that goes with this point. Again, we're talking about the point of God knows more about my industry than my industry's top leaders. What did uh, Work the Work say? Jay-Z is told, Jay-Z told us to take the money and I'm taking it and asking God what to do. Okay, like, look, that's my answer too. Oh, we definitely taking the money and we're going to pray and we're going to do what God said. I can, uh, Jay-Z says, y'all can listen to my, uh, my records and get all the game you need. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. But yes, <laughs> we, we definitely taking the money over here. But um, so let's get into the scripture that, that goes along with God knows more about my industry than my industry's top leaders. And I just really want you to like set your mind on the fact that God is an expert. He is the expert, the premier expert of your industry, whatever that is. He is the premier expert of it. So let's talk about it. This scripture comes from Ephesians chapter three and verse 10. Ephesians 3 verse 10 if you're taking notes and this is in the Amplified Bible Classic Edition and it says what a little broski um, it says the purpose is that through the church the complicated many-sided wisdom of God in all its infinite variety and innumerable aspects might now be made known to the angelic rulers and authorities principalities and powers in the heavenly sphere so let me break this down because basically this scripture is saying that through the church, God is showing who he is, <laughs> right? All of who he is, right? Um, the many-sided wisdom of God in all its infinite variety and innumerable aspects. He is showing that. Those, those are words that are describing the depth, the deepness of God and how much he knows <laughs> and how much wisdom he has. Like, it's just so vast that they have to use words like infinite, innumerable, <laughs> um, variety. Like, it's just that deep and that rich that he has all of this wisdom. And I just, I don't know. This is one of my favorite scriptures, actually, actually because, because it says that not only is it talking about all this infinite wisdom, innumerable um, aspects of God that you just can never plumb the depths of who he is and all that he knows it's talking about all of that but it's saying that all of that stuff about himself all of that deep wisdom about himself that is just like so infinite he is choosing to show that to the world <laughs> and to it says also to the angelic rulers and authorities right it's, he's showing that to the devil too and all his people he is showing that through the church. He is using us, who are the church, to show himself, um, to show his wisdom, to show his infinite variety of expertise in whatever the area is. And when I think about that, it just makes me so excited because it's telling me that I am, I myself am showing an aspect a facet of who God is like God is so many facets <laughs> you know what I'm saying just all the facets right and I'm one of them facets um you are one of those facets of who he is and what he looks like like when people see you they see just a little sliver a little glimmer of who God is and that just makes me feel good because you know what I'm saying God is dope and we're dope too just because we are of him and it is through us that he shows himself to the world and, you know, so your business, right, as an extension of who you are and, and what you do. And for some of us, your business may just be a means to an end. For others, your business may be um, some kind of purpose and calling wrapped around it. Um, but whatever it is, your business is something that was an idea you had that you are putting forth into the world. And you, as a facet of God, right, your business is an extension of that. <clears throat> And so again, if I am showing and demonstrating a little glimmer of all this depth of who God is, so is my business, right? So is my business. Whatever I put my hands to do is um, showing who a little bit of who God is. And I just think that's, 
that is so cool that he would um I just think it's so cool because I get I'm somebody who is like super passionate about everybody and their passions like if you got a passion drop your passion in the chat um but whatever your passion is I just get excited that you're you know it and that you're doing it and I'm just like oh yes do your passion like that's probably why I created this book um it is why part of why I created this book because I just am so excited about people doing their passion um and so I just I just look at people and their passions and I'm like, your passion is nothing that I would ever be interested in, but you're in it, into it. Like, yes, that's so good. And that's a piece of God, right? Like that's God showing a little bit of himself. Like God is into that. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's a little, little spark of who he is. And I just think that's beautiful because we are all parts of the puzzle, um, puzzle pieces in the puzzle of who God is. And um, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So I love that scripture and how it's saying, right, that he is using the church uh, to show, again, the many-sided wisdom of God. And so when we were talking about, again, we're on the point about how God is the top expert <laughs> in your field. Whatever your field is, I don't care what it is. He's the top expert. Um, this scripture is um, you know, it's proof of that, right? It says his many-sided wisdom, right? The many-sided wisdom of God in all its infinite variety, okay? what I don't care what it is <laughs> that you got going on, there is a wisdom from God for that. And not just some generic wisdom, not just some, okay, take it or leave it wisdom, but it's like the wisdom, <laughs> right? Like it's the top best premium people will pay millions of dollars to get this wisdom um but you have access to it we're gonna talk about that in the next point for free and um that's just that's just super dope so um you know the 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 kind of call to action here with this point is look like if god is the top expert in your industry like we got to we got to go to him and ask him for some of this wisdom you know what i'm saying like if you're struggling and you don't even have to be struggling, um, you can just bake into your process prayer. <laughs> and by prayer, I mean, Lord, what are we supposed to do this quarter? You know what I'm saying? Lord, give me wisdom about he knows what's going on in the in the economy and, and what's to come, um, you know, in the future and just everything. Right. So like bake into your process to to go to him, to go to the experts in your field that you have a direct line of access for and holler at your boy about whatever that is, right? Talk to him. Um, that's, that's really the point of this point is like, if you have somebody in your life who is an expert at what you do, why would you not be in their face all the time trying to see what you need to be doing? And trust me, baby, like he knows he has a plan for you. He has a plan for your business. Again, this this um, chapter is from God is my CEO in the book. And it's your business is his business, right? If you are his kid, um, he's giving you some idea that you are stewarding. Hey, TNZ, um, it's his. It belongs to him. So he... He can run that thing. He can guide that thing. He wants to. Um, and he's chosen to partner with you in that. So go to him. Don't just be out here lost, struggling when you don't have to be, right? Don't just be out here feeling like you, you know, in a, in a scarcity mentality, right? Um, thinking you don't have what you need, right? You don't have um, the knowledge that you need or the expertise that you need or the strategy that you need. No, you do have it. If you have God, you have access to whatever it is and you just need to use it. Now, if you ain't using it, that's on you. But you, this, that's why we're talking about this today because at the end of the day, we, God can be the expert in your industry you know, all you want. But if you're not using his expertise, if you're not asking him for his expertise, you just going to be out here looking stupid, shooting in the dark. I'm not, not looking stupid, y'all. Y'all know I, I love y'all. I would never call you stupid, but you know what I'm saying, right? Just out here shooting in the dark when you don't have to be, right? So this is an opportunity. This is a reminder. This is a push to go to him, to go to the expert. You have an expert. I don't care if you don't feel like you have a mentor, if you don't feel like nobody has taught you the game, you've been having to learn it yourself. Like, 
you don't have um it's just you wearing all the hats right so many of us are whatever we're building we are <laughs> running all the whole entire thing right we're doing all the roles and you may be just feeling like dang like ain't nobody out here with me i'm by myself and that's not the case god is with you and not and that's not just god like that is the expert <laughs> the expert is with you okay i want you to just take that with you into this week like the expert is with me right the expert at my business is with me and i am with him and i have access to his expertise the way that we that his expertise is um discussed in the bible is infinite variety and innumerable aspects <laughs> many sided right that's what his expertise is like his expertise in just covers every single realm of whatever you need whatever inspiration you need whatever direction strategy insight you need his wisdom is so multifaceted that it covers that too so go to him go to him that's all i want to say on that okay go to him <clears throat> don't be out here shooting in the dark when you don't have to why would you why would you do that if you had access to oprah like you could just just call oprah like hey girl <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about doing X, Y, Z. What you think? You know what I'm saying? If you could just hit up Jay-Z, you know, whatever. Like, you would be doing that in a heartbeat, right? In a heartbeat. And so that's what I'm saying. You have somebody bigger and better and even a greater expert than those people um, in your corner uh, who is available to support you in whatever it is you are building. I don't care what it is you're building. He has expertise for that. You have the expert with you. Like Tansy said, the expert is with me. I have access to his expertise. Yes, the best expertise, the best, the expertise of expertises. Okay, uh, where is the scripture located? This is Ephesians 3, verse 10. Ephesians 3, verse 10, and I'm reading the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. So Ephesians 3, verse 10. <clears throat> so yeah, y'all. We got to tap in because you have no excuse. You have no excuse to be out here struggling when you have access. You got the expert. You, Jesus is on the main line telling what you want. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. So, um, so yeah, let's go on. That that little point right there feel good to me right now. Okay, it feel real good. Um, I don't know about y'all, but it is giving me um, what it needs to give right now in this moment. So let's go on to the second point. This is our last point, but we got three scriptures around this. So let's just dive into it because it's about to be good too. So the second point, if you're taking notes, the, the first point, um, if you just joined, we are talking about the God is my CEO chapter of the Big Idea Food book, which you can get on Amazon. It's a, devotion, a weekly devotional for entrepreneurs, side hustlers, and dreamers. Check it out on Amazon. It is a blessing. It'll bless your life. Trust me. God will meet with you and speak with you as you open and read this. Every time you open those pages, that is my prayer for everybody who buys the book. Um, but we are walking through a study of that. So if you just joined, don't worry. I am going to have the recording on um, ready to go later today. So check out our YouTube channel on um, at Big Idea Food on YouTube. You can also get to that through the link in my bio. And you can check out the, today's recording as well as previous week's recording. So got you covered on that, my loves. Um, so yeah, next point is... I have free access to God's infinite wisdom about my industry. Okay? We've already kind of touched on this, um, but we're going to touch on a little bit more. So this, this next point is I have free access to God's infinite wisdom about my industry. And I mean, again, I just, this point is so important as we are thinking about God being our CEO, as we're thinking about our business belonging to him, and he is right there in the trenches with us. Um, is so like powerful and as we realize he has the, the greatest expertise we could ever need to run this thing um, it's so powerful to realize that we have free access to that expertise like I really wanted to to highlight that in this study is like not only is his expertise out there but you have free access to it like Again, I don't know what industry you're a part of, but for me, if I want to go and get coaching in my industry, it's going to cost a pretty penny, okay? <laughs> it's going to cost a couple stacks just to sit with a coach and have them just walk through, um, you know, whatever it is that I need in terms of strategy or development that I'm trying to build out, or if I need to go to an expert to help me build out something. 
um, I'm gonna have to pay some money. <laughs> it's gonna run you, right? And of course, this is not saying that you just never have to use any other expert but God. Um, although, like, listen, he got you covered. I, I am a witness of that. <laughs> he got you covered. Um, but obviously, you know, I always encourage you to invest in support um, outside as well, uh, especially God-led supports, um, people who flow and pray and invite him into their expertise and skill set and use that on your behalf. Highly recommend, 10 stars. But um, the point here is that we have access to the highest level of expertise for the free, not even for the low, it's for the free. <laughs> And that is a huge thing. Hey, make room publicity. Um, that is a huge, huge thing. Like, you don't have to pay a dime. And as a business owner, especially if you are in the early stages and bootstrapping this thing, right? Like, your every single dollar counts. And investing in support is an investment, <laughs> right? And you got it, right? But imagine being able to access the highest level of expertise for your industry, um, for free. That is what we have in God, who is our CEO, and that is truly priceless. And so I just want to talk about that. Um, I have free access to God's infinite wisdom about my industry. So let's dive into that and the scriptures that go along with that. I'll take a drink real quick. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? <clears throat> Let me know. Give me a one in the chat if you're doing good. Give me a two if you just kind of like, eh. Let me know how y'all doing and that y'all are still here with me. Um, but yes, let's move into the next points here. Again, I have free access to God's infinite wisdom about my industry. So the first scripture we're going to talk about is from 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And this is verses 9 through 12. 1.5. <laughs> I'm glad you you in the middle. Authentic, authentic high. My dad doing good. Good, good. Um, so again, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 through 12 in the New King James Version. Um, and it says, <clears throat> But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. How many of y'all ever, I know y'all have heard this scripture, and it bothers me so much because so many times people quote this scripture and they don't quote the next part. They're just like, I hasn't seen, ear hasn't heard. Don't nobody know what God going to do. And it's like, if you just keep reading, it literally says, but God has revealed them to us by his spirit. Like, please give me the full scripture and context, please. And thank you. Like, <laughs> it's not just out here. His wisdom is not just out here, unknowable and inaccessible. It is accessible to him, to us, right? Um, we can find out what eye has not seen and ear hasn't heard. And we find it out which it says a little further down in the scripture, through his spirit, right? Through the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us. We have access to the things that God has not shown out there publicly, right? <clears throat> so it says, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Y'all, I could just run around the room when I read that. <laughs> Especially in this context of what we are talking about, right? We have free access to his expertise. We have free access to his expertise. And how do we have that access? We have it through his spirit. Y'all, when the word, the Bible says we have the mind of Christ, right? We have the mind of Christ. It's referring to the Holy Spirit, who, if you are a born again, a believer in Jesus Christ, um, you have received the Holy Spirit. He lives inside of you. And y'all, the significance of that is that if you were here at the beginning when we're talking about the many-sided, infinite, innumerable wisdom of God, all of that in God's mind, <laughs> right, all of his all-knowingness lives inside of his spirit, right? So holy, the Holy Spirit has all of God's wisdom, all of his expertise about your industry, all of the stuff that we've been talking about this whole time, it lives inside of his spirit. The spirit of God is literally his mind, right? It's all of those things. And that spirit 
lives in us. So like, like, right? Like mind blown when you think about it. Cause it's just like, what? Yes, we have access to it because he's made his spirit freely available, but like it literally lives inside of me. You have a well of infinite wisdom about your industry. We're just talking about this expertise. We're not even talking about the expertise for your for your marriage and for your relationships and for your parenting. We're not even talking about expertise for the relationships you got to deal with or the finances. We're just talking about expertise for your business right now. But all of that, like the infinite... <laughs> wisdom of God lives inside of his Holy Spirit which lives inside of you like ah, that is so good so 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 good to me like it just blesses my soul and so we have free access to that it's not out here somewhere where you can't access it right it is right here inside of you and um, I feel led to just share you know a lot of times we feel like we don't know the voice of God very well. You know, you you feel like you're trying to learn his voice and you just don't feel super confident in that you know his voice. Um, and I have been there. Um, I go through different seasons where I'm still there as well and feel like, man, what, what are you saying, God, right? Um, but the way that we really tap into or access, right? Um, this point is talking about the fact that we have free a access to the wisdom. Um, about our industry because we have access in God, the way that we really access or can unlock the voice of God is by spending time in his word, right? Uh, we talk about all of the men, the infinite wisdom of God lives inside of um, his Holy Spirit. Um, it, it also lives inside of his word because he and his word are one, right? And so when we spend time reading scripture, uh, when we spend time doing what you're doing right now, listening to someone share uh, the Bible, right? Listening to somebody talk about scripture, listening to sermons, like whenever you're spending time in God's word, you're training yourself to know his voice, right? So that way, the more you know his word, which is who he is, which is his personality, which is how he operates, which is truth from, from fiction, um, the more that when you hear certain things in your mind that come to you, when you hear certain strategies, right? When you hear a certain advice from God and you, you, you're not sure if it's God or not, the more you spend time in his word, the more you'll be sure that that's God. And so I just want to share that for anybody who just feels like, dang, I don't know God's word. Don't even trip. Like you are doing what you need to do right now by spending time listening to um, his word, right? Listening to his word being taught. And that is training you to understand what his spirit is saying. So, you know, this point is saying we have free access <laughs> to his wisdom and to his the wisdom that we need for our industry. Um, but in a sense, you do have to pay for it, right? And you pay for it by spending time <laughs> in his words so you understand what he's telling you because you're going to get so many voices telling you what to do right every single day in entrepreneurship if you are you spend any time online somebody is telling you what to do with your business right someone's telling you what to do with your life your dream whatever it is you're building it's so many voices out here talking to you running their mouth left and right and some of the voices are sent from god right he's speaking through some of them right but how do you know that how do you know when it's his wisdom and not just something random Right. You know that because you spend time in his word and you, you understand um, another scripture that and I don't know the scripture reference. If you know it, definitely um, drop it in the chat for us. But something that I would confess often is um, the scripture where Jesus says, my sheep know my voice and another voice they will not follow. I think it's somewhere. In, it's somewhere in John. Um, but that is a um, scripture that I turned into a declaration for myself. Um, I am. I am Jesus's sheep. I know his voice and another voice I will not follow. And I would just declare that over and over and over, um, over and over and over just to um, speak and build um, my spirit to know like this is what we do over here. We follow the voice of Christ um, because how many of y'all know whatever you're speaking, that's what's being um, created in your life. Right. And so I use that. If you feel like you don't know his voice, I highly recommend um, making that scripture declaration. 
and speaking that over yourself because it is just so, so good and so, so helpful. Um, yes, Authentic Guy says so many voices, goodness, right? Like, it's too many voices out here. It's so many voices trying to tell you what to do. Like, we need to hear from God, okay? We need the many-sided wisdom for our specific situation, our specific business and industry, and he, it is freely available to us. And if you don't feel like you, you're tapped into it and it's super clear, the way to do it is just tap into that word. Go go and just sit with the Bible and read it a little bit. <laughs> Spend some time. Go and turn on the, um, the study journal recordings that are on our YouTube channel and just sit under the word. I'm telling you, the more that you do that, the more that you will hear his voice, the more you'll be able to get all the strategy that you need for your business. Um, Leslie said, it's one of my uh, favorites and declare it regularly. Yes, right? Oh, thank you guys. You guys shared the, um, the reference right there. John 10 verses 27 through 28. John 10, verse 27 through 28. Um, so yes, definitely hit that up. <clears throat> but yes, so that is our first scripture. Um, and really that scripture is about like, yes, eye hasn't seen, ear hasn't heard, but your eye can see and your ear can hear <laughs> whatever the wisdom is. And you're going to hear it through the spirit of God by spending time in the word of God. Okay. So let's go to the next scripture again, talking about the fact that we have free access to God's infinite wisdom about your industry. Okay. The next scripture is Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. That's a lot of threes. Three is my favorite number, y'all. Um, and this is in the Amplified Bible Classic ed Edition as well. And it says, call to me and I will answer you. We can just stop right there call to me <laughs> and I will answer you. This is God talking through his prophet Jeremiah. And this is what he's telling us. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things fenced in and hidden, which you do not know. <clears throat> Hold on. I felt, I feel like a little prompting. Ooh. Okay. Y'all one second. We might have to circle back because it was something I needed to say about the previous scripture. So we were in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 through 12. And he, it says the things which God has prepared for those who love him. And it also says um, the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. And I just wanted to put that on um, this recording, like those things that it's referring to. There's so many things, right? <laughs> the things of God, right? What are the what are the things of God? <laughs> it's a lot of things, right? Um, we're just talking about all the many sided, infinite wisdom that he has. And so when it's talking about things in that scripture, I just wanted to point out like those are the, the types of things <laughs> that are um revealed to us right the things of god the wisdom the expertise that we've been talking about today those are one of the things that are revealed to us by the holy spirit and i just as you read that scripture i really just want you to marinate on that like the spirit searches all those things it reveals those things it knows those deep things all that infinite innumerable impossible to like fathom <laughs> wisdom and expertise that god has about your industry the spirit knows those things, all those deep things, and he reveals them to you. So I just, I felt like I had to say that. So I said it. Um, so definitely as you are going through this study yourself, just marinate on that a little bit. Like anything, I just, whatever it is in your business, you have the expert available. Again, I want you to focus on that this week. The expert is with me. Okay. So I think we can move on. Lord, if, if you want to go back and talk about it, just let me know. But <laughs> Um, so again, Jeremiah 33, verse 3 in the Amplified Bible, Classic Edition. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Fenced in and hidden, which you do not know. Do not distinguish and recognize, have, acknowledge, have knowledge of and understand. I love this scripture because when we run into the things that we don't know, that's what it says, right? <laughs> great and mighty things that are fenced in and hidden which you just don't know you don't recognize you don't have knowledge of you don't understand let me know in the chat you know just raise your hand give me a raise your hand emoji if you have run into situations in the business that you're building that you just are lost <laughs> you don't know what to do you have no knowledge of this like there's just nothing there um that you have to understand what to even do 
And this scripture just really speaks to that so well. Like there's nothing that you can come up against that God can't show you, that he can't reveal to you, that he can't teach to you if you do what it says, which is call to me. He says, call to me and I'll answer you. And I think so many of us, like, we miss out on the help that we need because we're not calling to him. We're just over here trying to struggle through it on our own, right? Or we're too busy looking at what everybody else is doing and using that as a guide instead of getting quiet somewhere and being, <laughs> being quiet and spending time with the one who actually knows and talking to him. Because not only is he an expert in the industry that you're in, he's an expert in you. Okay, we're just going to let that breathe. <laughs> he's an expert in your industry. And he's an expert in you and who you are and how you specifically need to steward that specific thing that you don't know about right now in this specific season, right? Like he, is, there's so much, lay, so many layers of his expertise, not only for your industry, but for who you are and for the season you're in and for the season that the world is in right now. Like there's so many layers of expertise that we have access to in our father and he knows it all. But when we are out here struggling on our own or even worse, just looking around trying to see what everybody else is doing and let that guide us you're just gonna be out here stuck right you might be moving you might be taking steps but are they getting you where you're supposed to go are they getting you to your promised land are they getting you to your place of abundance if you're not following whatever it is god is saying if you're not tapping into what he's saying it's gonna be a hard road <laughs> and it don't gotta be a hard road because all he, it says right here, all we got to do is call to him and he will answer us. And I know so many times, I know this, this sounds easier said than done because I know like there's things that, you know, sometimes it seems like you may get an answer right away. And there's other times where it feels like, oh, Lord, I'm still waiting. Right. Um, but what I have found to be pretty consistent is that if I need an answer from God and I, and I focus on. If, and I quiet myself down and give him specific space to speak to me, I will get the answer that I need. And what that looks like for me, right, um, and many of us who, you know, have learned how to tap in and, and pull answers from God, um, what that looks like for me often is just, one, getting time away somewhere quiet. And for me, sometimes that's just five minutes. Literally, I'm just, I'll set a timer and I'm like, God, I feel like I'm stuck here. I just need, I'm just going to set this timer. I'm giving you five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to go be quiet. I'm going to go lay down on my bed. I'm going to shut my eyes. I'm going to bring a notebook with me and I'm going to be quiet. And I'm asking you, I'm calling to you right now. Please give me wisdom. What is it? What am I, what am I stuck about? What am I, what's the answer that I'm looking for? Something don't feel right. What's going on? Like, just giving him five minutes of silence with you and a notebook, a pen and a notebook, so you can write down whatever you hear from him. Game changer, I'm telling you. Game changer. Just silence, okay? And spending and call to him. Give him the space to speak to you. And that's the problem. Like many times we are calling to God and you feel like he ain't never answering you, but he is answering you. You're just not quiet enough to hear it. You just haven't sat your butt down to and slowed your butt down to hear what he has to say. And that's why you out here feeling like he's never answering you. No, he been answered you. He gave you the answer last year, but you've been moving so fast and you've been so distracted that you aren't hearing what he's saying. And that's why God answers his kids. Don't let any, his word, literally this word, his word is true. He said, let my word be true and every man a liar. So if his word is true and you haven't gotten your answer, trust and believe he's answered you. You just didn't hear it. That ain't his fault. <laughs> and this isn't to condemn you. It's really to empower you, right? If you feel like you haven't heard from him, if you feel like you haven't gotten the answer that you needed, all you got to do is spend some quiet time. Get quiet. Sometimes, you know, I, I share my, the five minutes that I'll do sometimes to get quiet. And other times, 
it's like a really big deal, you know, and I need to take some time. Not only I need to give him a couple days and we're going to add a fast to it because <laughs> I need to, to just quiet my flesh, quiet my own mind, quiet my own thinking. I might need to shut off some social media, shut off TV and other medias and just be quiet for a day. Be quiet for three days as much as I can. Right. I know we all have jobs and things going on. Um, so you, you find and create the quiet that you can create in your specific situation. Um, but you may need to add a fast to it just to quiet down your flesh. Right. Um, and just and, and quiet down any distractions that could keep you from hearing from him. I'm telling you, baby, he answers his kids. He answers his kids. That's what his word says. Call to me and I will answer you. And not only will I answer you, but I will show you great and mighty things. He just over here waiting. He got great and mighty things in the chamber just waiting to show you. Like, I want to show you. Like, just call to me. And I'm just going to be like, bow. And you're going to be like, oh, my God. And he's going to be like, I know, right? Oh, my me. Like, <laughs> he is so ready to show you whatever those great and mighty things are. I'm telling you, whatever you're dealing with, he got great and mighty things to tell you about it. Ready. <laughs> And all he needs from you is to call to him and, and be for real when you call to him. Don't just call to him on the go, right? Sit your butt down somewhere and sit at his feet and be quiet so that he has the space to speak to you. You have to give God room, all right? Give him room to talk. If you're not giving him room, you're going to miss it, okay? If you've been missing it, this is what you've been missing. You just have to give him the space, okay? So... Call to him and he'll answer you, all right? <laughs> and he will give you the expertise that you need for your industry, okay? Whatever those things are that you're coming up against that you don't know the answers to, he's got the answers and he will show them to you. Great and mighty things. He's not just going to give you nothing run of the mill, okay? He's not just going to give you basic, all right, mediocre. No, it's going to be great and mighty. <laughs> great and mighty things. He will show you. You want you don't want just one strategy. You want the dopest strategy. You want that thing to hit. You want it to be the, the time to be right, the, the idea to be right, the execution, the aesthetic, whatever it is, like you want that thing to hit. Okay, he will show you great and mighty ways to make it hit. Like if you give him the space, all right, he's ready. I'm telling you, he's ready to do it. He got it in the chamber, loaded, ready to go. You just have to tap into it, and it's so easy to tap in. I just want to remove that barrier for you because so many of us feel like we can't hear from God. We don't know how to talk to him, whatever. Like, it's so easy to hear from him. It's so easy. I want you to change your mindset. It's so easy. We have free access. He's made it so simple, okay? It's free and simple to get everything that you need from him. All you got to do is call to him, and he will answer you. And give him, just give him the space, and he will take it from there, okay? My dad said, which thou knowest not. Yes, the things which you don't know, whatever it is that you don't know, he had, he knows. He knows. Um, and he will give you the answer. I'm just looking back at the comments. Oh, yeah, Worth the Work said me becoming the manufacturer. That's the thing you didn't know. And you had to call to him to get some guidance. Yes, he does. Davisha. Hey, Davisha. Hey, Amen. All right, y'all, one more scripture and then we're, we're done for the day. Um, and so the last scripture that goes along again with this point I have free access to God's infinite wisdom about my industry. That's the point we're talking about. I have free access to God's infinite wisdom about my industry. Again, check out the full recording, which will be posted later today on the YouTube, Big Idea Food YouTube channel. Get to it in the link in my bio and check out other weeks before this. Um, so the last scripture that goes with that point is um, James chapter 1 and verse 5. It's one of my favorite scriptures I probably use almost every day for something, okay? I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> That's what this scripture going to get you, okay? You're going you gonna to get something. I did that for you, Leslie. <laughs> Kenyatta said, new confession is so easy to hear from God. Yes, Kenyatta, yes. Come on, reframe. Come on, mindset shifts. It's so easy to hear from God. I love that, Kenyatta. Like, that is going to just, like, revolutionize. He's made it so easy. He ain't made it hard. He has not made it hard. He did not put up, he ain't put it behind lock and key or none of that. Like, he was like, here you go. I'm just pouring it out if you would just receive it. So, anyway, I love that. Thank you for sharing that, Kenyatta. James chapter 1, verse 5. And this is in the J.B. Phillips New Testament 
which is one of my favorite New Testament translations, J.B. Phillips New Testament. And it says, <clears throat> and if in the process, any of you does not know how to meet any particular problem he has, oh, sorry, if, if in the process, any of you does not know how to meet any particular problem, he has only to ask God who gives generously to all men without making them feel foolish or guilty. And he may be quite sure that the necessary wisdom will be given him. Let me read that again, okay? And if in the process any of you does not know how to meet any particular problem, he has only to ask God. I don't care what the problem is, like we've said, what, what the expertise is that you need in your industry, um, the wisdom that you need. If there's anything you don't know, all you got to do is ask God. That's what it says in James, okay? And not only that, you're asking the one, it says, ask God who gives generously to all men. I love that part. He gives generously. So whatever, we already talked about, if you call to him, he'll answer you and show you great and mighty things, right? The, the dopest <laughs> expertise, the highest strategy, right? He will show you like the best of the best, right? Great and mighty. But not only that, but he'll do it generously. Y'all, that is something that I hang on to all the time. Whenever I use the scripture to pray and ask for wisdom, because anytime I, you know, you pray, you use a scripture to back up your prayer, right? You pray the word of God. And so this is my scripture that I'll go to and just be like, Lord, your word says if I ask for wisdom, you'll give it to me generously. Here I go asking for it. And I just love that generously part because he not only gives you great and mighty things, but he gives them generously to you. Like, more than what you even need he gonna give it to you like an abundance of that thing whatever that wisdom is like it's gonna he gonna give it to you and it's gonna be like probably too much like i ain't even asked for all that god like <laughs> but thank you you know he gives it generously he's just like oh you what you need <laughs> i got you don't even worry about it i got you i mean i don't know if god is you know what i'm saying but <laughs> he got you and he's gonna give it to you generously i just that just really warms my soul um, to know that God is going to give it to me generously. And then this other part um, added on to it. He gives it generously to all men without making them feel foolish or guilty. Y'all, no question is a stupid question with God. I don't care what it is. And I also want to come against the thought and the lie that God is like too focused on like big and important things in the world going on to think about your little prayer like not true at all okay it says any wisdom whatever wisdom you need if there's some particular problem any problem that you don't know how to meet i don't care if it's how to tie your shoe it can be as basic as that he cares about it and he's going to give it to you without making you feel foolish or guilty there is no reason for you to ever feel like god you know this is a stupid question. I'm not even going to ask it. Or, God, you're, you're, you're too busy. Or you're working on more important things than this little thing. No. He going to give you that wisdom that you asked for him. And he's not going to make you feel foolish or guilty about it. Okay? Because he knows. He knows that we're dust. He knows that we are. He, we, he made us. He knows what you know and don't know and what you need. And he is so happy to give it to you. He's so happy to be the one that we have to come to. Right? He made it that way. He made us to need him and to need his wisdom. So why would he ever want to withhold any of it from you? He's got so much, so much. He said, call to me and I'll answer you and I'll show you great and mighty things. I have so many things to show you and to teach you and to give you if you just let me do it. And so it's like there is nothing outside of the realm of what he wants to share with you that if you need to know it, he will trust me that he wants to teach it to you. He wants to give you that thing. He wants you to have what you need. He wants you to have the wisdom and the expertise that you need. Okay, so not only do you have access to the expert, you have the expert wants to give you his expertise. And I think that's sometimes something we can lose sight of, right? Is that he wants to do it, right? When we see him, um, when we see Jesus healing folks in the Bible and the one leper was like, I mean, if you want to do it, you'll do it or whatever. And Jesus was like, yeah, I will do it because <laughs> I want to. You're healed, right? He wants to give you his wisdom. He wants to keep his word for you. 
his word, which is so full of every treasure that we need. The word that we walk through today is treasure. It's a blank check. It's access to whatever you need. He's given it to you in his word and he wants to do it. So don't ever let any lie come to you that um, he doesn't want to support you, that he doesn't want to give you something. Like that is a lie from the pit. Why would he leave us his word if he didn't want us to access it? Why would he put a cookie on the table if he didn't want, he knew you was going to go get that cookie, like, but he wants you to go eat it. Like, that's why he put it there. <laughs> like, that's the best way I can say it. Like, it's not there for no reason. It ain't there for him. He don't need it. <laughs> he, he got everything already. He can see everything already. He knows everything already. So why is it there? It's there for us. It's there for you. So use it and use it boldly. Go to the throne boldly trusting that he wants to give you the world okay if you just ask him for it all right <clears throat> don't let anybody tell you god doesn't want to doesn't want to guide you god doesn't want to bless your business god doesn't want to give you strategy god doesn't want to give you um insight and wisdom about any little thing i don't care how big or little it seems to you he wants to he wants a hand on that okay he's ready and willing to support you in that thing okay so that's that is the it the end look i can't even talk because this is just so good that's the end of this though y'all and i just want to pray for you again if you just joined um the recording of this will be on um our the big idea food youtube channel here in just a few hours um so just come go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel now you can get to the link in my bio and um make sure and if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet please like this video and hit the subscribe button that will allow us to get this message to more and more people on the internet who just need to be reminded that god is for them okay um so please 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 take a second to like the video leave me a comment if there's some wisdom you're praying for and asking god calling to him about like leave a comment i will pray for you about that thing um and make sure you hit that subscribe button okay um, so thank you guys for joining. Before I pray, let me say, read what Make Room Publicity said. Thank you for this. Happy I was able to tune in for the first time. By the way, I absolutely love your book. Oh, thank you so much. Going over to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. And thank you for sharing that um, testimonial about the book. Again, the, the study that we're doing is based on the Big Idea Food book which is a weekly devotional for entrepreneurs, side hustlers, and dreamers. It is available on Amazon and it will bless your life. Make sure that you get you a copy if you don't already have one so you can use it in alignment with these studies that we're doing. Um, all right, let's pray. <laughs> let's just pray. Father, thank you so, so much. For just This was so good. I just, I feel so good. I feel your presence and I'm just so grateful. Lord, we just thank you so much for coming on and teaching us and just taking this time to just encourage us and let us know how willing you are to support us in the work that you have called us to do. So we just thank you. I pray that everyone who is listening to this message right now is encouraged. I pray, Lord, that they are now going to come to you with the specific things that they need. I pray that they will call to you and let you answer them. Lord, and I just pray that you would just just amaze them <laughs> with the wisdom with the 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 intelligence that you have available for their specific thing lord and i just pray lord that you would even increase their boldness today to come to you to come to the throne boldly and to receive exactly what it is that you have for them lord i pray that we will receive all like expand our capacity to receive because we know that you have so much more to give to us than we even have the capacity to ask for so lord expand our mindsets to ask for those things the big things and the small things lord bring them to mind um, as we are going through uh, our days as we are building our businesses lord bring to our attention the things that we can that you have wisdom for us about so that we can get what we need from you and make these businesses in alignment with just the best highest dopest wisdom that you have for us to express in the world through our businesses lord we love you so so much and just thank you for everything and it's in jesus name we pray amen 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 thank y'all so much thank you dad you're a blessing to me i received that 
Are you going to do any more book giveaways, Scott Pennies? You know what? I probably will do some more book giveaways. So definitely, if you're not following me, um, make sure to follow me here on Instagram. And um, I, I will probably, maybe I'll do one more since you asked. Because um, I, I want to kind of make that a part of my routine, actually. So that's um, where people can find out about the book. So thank you for asking that. I'm going to make a note to schedule another book giveaway so that um, we can do that. And then, Scott Pennies, if you don't have a book, let me know. Send me a DM, and I'll send you a copy just because you asked that. So just shoot me a DM, and I will hit you up. Yes, girl. Yes. We're going to get you a book, okay? <laughs> um, book giveaway. All right, y'all. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys back here at 12 Eastern on Friday, right here on Instagram Live, um, for next week's Bible study. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Authentic Key. I appreciate that, girl. All right, I'll see you guys. Yeah, yo, yeah, send me a DM. Send me a DM. And I'll shoot you a copy. Send me a DM with your address, obviously. Um, the best address, and I'll, I'll send you a copy just because you asked that. Because I needed that reminder. So I, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.